All right, people, I'm back again. One thing you're going to realize about being a child of God, he gives you a fighting spirit. And he always gives you a glimpse of hope. Right when you're ready to throw in the towel. You know what I'm saying? If you keep calling on him now, I'm, I'm trying to tell y'all this for a reason. You can't stop, though. You know, I'm going to tell you something. God minds you giving up on people. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying it's something you should just constantly do. Give up on people or dust your feet off with people. But the Bible tells us we can. But one thing he don't want you to do is give up on him. You remember when Joe, I mean when uh, David messed up? He still got down and prayed. Even after the, the God, God said he's going to punish him for what he did. And strife gonna be in your house. You know, a lot of people are like, what? Really? Oh, one mistake? Forget that. Forget that. I give up on God. David started fasting and praying. He realized he messed up. He realized the area of your ways, his ways. And sometimes that's all God wants you to do. Is repent and acknowledge your transgression. Job did the same thing. Hey, I said things that are too high for me. Things I understood not, man. Whoa. You understand? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lord. Sometimes that's all he wants. Acknowledge him. Acknowledge your errors. Take what he throws your way. You understand? I know a lot of people, like, I told you I was arguing with somebody, debating with somebody. God's just putting us all through a game. He's a big bully. He's a bully. Whatever. You understand? He's trying you. You know, let's put it, let's take the world we live in right now. You know, a lot of people want to move up the chain of success in the work market. They really do. But then, what they do though? The boss man, the manager come to them. How did you do this, 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 and that? Man, you put too much on me. Hmm. Oh, really? All right, then. I guess you don't want to be promoted. I guess you don't want what comes next. So you're just going to be stuck right here. And then don't get mad when I excel somebody else and you still, now you're working under somebody else. Because you fainted. You know what I'm saying? You fainted. You gave up. You understand? You gave up. You see, that's what happened with a lot of people. You understand? And the thing is, if you're not appreciated where you work and you're doing everything you're supposed to do, it's okay to move on. It is. But wait for the Lord to say, go. Wait for the Lord. Call on the Lord. Don't take matters in your own hands. I'm going to tell you something. If God don't want certain people in your life, he'll remove them. If he wants some people in your life, if he wants you at that job, he'll keep you there. If he don't want you there, he'll move you. You know, I was reading a story about somebody else who was praying and praying for that promotion or that new job. And then along comes somebody offered them a new job and they tried to turn it. They were finna turn it down. But behold, somebody talked in their ear. Hey, go. And they went and they got the job of their dreams. Got the job of their dreams. True story. You understand? True story. You got it. And the devil was trying to stop them. You understand? Because it didn't line up. The job didn't line up with what they thought it was going to be. But come to find out, somebody heard about them. And they was looking for her. And they wanted her. Bam. She got the job. She got the promotion. I love hearing stories like that about people who don't give up. Or people who, when they're at their it's end. Or where's end. And they like, whew, the Lord came through. You know what makes me love it even more? When they be like, glory be to God. God came through. You know what I, what, I, what upsets me a lot? When no honor and glory goes to God. It's just like I just said. Time and chance happen to us all. We just got to know who the author is and the finisher of our lives. God. You understand? A lot of y'all are under another author. <laughs> y'all are under the author of confusion. And I've been victim to the author of confusion too and sometimes still be. You understand? But like I said, just realize you don't got it figured out. Keep calling on God. 
Because the devil is always lurking. He wants you to give up. He wants you to curse God. But just keep praying and keep calling on him. He'll open doors for you when you think all hope is lost. Never would have made it. You ever heard that song? Glory be to God. You see, a lot of people start worshiping the work of their own hands. You understand? They do. God bless them with a business. I worked hard for this. I did. I'd been there, done that. And I fell harder, harder than I ever had when I started worshiping the work of my own hands. Don't do that. Because the Lord give up and the Lord take them away for your benefit. You understand? That's why, look, now I'm saying the accusation that Satan threw at Job. You see, man, you done hedged him up, man. You done put a shield of protection around him. You understand? Take, touch it, touch it. Take some things from him. You understand? And I understand that, though. I'm not agreeing with Satan. But, I understand, but you got to understand what I'm saying. A lot of us ain't been through nothing. You know. So God allows us to go through things. Hey, let's see how faithful you are. You understand? Let's see how faithful you are. You know. Let's see how faithful you are. For real. Are you going to stay like that? When our hope seems to be lost. Are you going to keep your faith? Are you going to keep calling on me? So it's like God's like, hey, Satan, okay, try him. But he mine. She mine. You understand? Don't give up hope on God, people. That's all I'm trying to tell you. Don't do it. Don't do it. If you give up on God, I'm telling you, you letting the devil have full authority to your life. You understand? The thing is, he can get back in your life and have full authority. But you can repent and let God come back in. That's the mercy of God. It's simple. You know how many times in the Old Testament the people have turned their backs on God and start worshiping idols with a whoring after other gods? And God said, if my people will humble themselves and return to me, I will come in and heal their land. So God is a God of constant forgiveness. Read the Old Testament. You will see. You slipped and fell, you fell away, you let the devil come in, and God said, hey, let me back in. Let me pause and I will continue.